Well, good morning, guys. This is Kathy with Kincaid Special Creations coming to you with another Dollar Tree haul. My husband, wonderful husband, Tim, uh, was out um, on the job, and then after he got off from work a couple of days last week, he went to a couple of Dollar Trees for me. Uh, if you know anything about Dollar Tree shopping, you know that you can find different things in different Dollar Trees. That's just the way it goes. That's just the way it happens. So, um, he went in. We had been looking for this. It is the Dollar Tree Little Hay, ba hay Bales. They're just little tiny ones. Um, but I had been looking and looking and looking through all the ones here in West Virginia and had not been able to find them. So he called me all excited that he had found them and how many did I want? Well, I was busy with the she shed and doing crafts, so I didn't get the phone call at that time. So I went, uh, when I called him back, he said, I just bought 10 of them. So I'm tickled to death to have them. I now am the proud owner of 10 packages of many hay bales. So look for projects to come up in the future with those in mind. If you have an idea that you would like to see done with them, let me know. I'll incorporate it in. May do a hay ride closer to Halloween. May put some in front of a haunted house. You know, I'm just not sure. So then when he sent me the picture, I seen in the background that he had, that they had these, which I had also been hunting for which is the little buffalo check, orange and white and black, and, orange and black and black and white ones. And so he went back to that same store, bless his little heart, he loves me to death, and he got me three packages of those. So now I'm going to be doing some more crafts with those. And all of this stuff can be saved for next year if I don't get enough crafts done this year. Or we may have a craft class that includes them. I'm not sure what we'll do with them right now, but it was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to find them. And while he was there, he knows I'm obsessed with those little red trucks. He found me these. All decorated already up with uh, flowers, hay, little bee berries. And this one has a sunflower on it. So, they're already ready to go. So, he got me a couple boxes of those. Those could actually go in my candy corn tree. If you all have not seen my uh, live that I did last night, please check it out. I have it uh, po posted on YouTube and Facebook under Kincaid Special Creations. If you found me, you'll know it. And you'll see what we did with that little tree. And these are little ornaments, little truck ornaments with all kind of fall stuff. So I think I'm going to hang those on my tree. I want to get this uh, live done before that took place. Also at the store, um, he found me these two. One is a cherry pie and one, I believe, is a pumpkin pie. So look forward to them during my Thanksgiving uh things that I'm getting ready to do. So, there's those. That was the first place he went to. And I'm pretty sure this one might have been at West Point is where he found these, I'm thinking. <clears throat> you need something? Okay. Uh, and then at a place called Papa Hannock in Virginia. Here is where he found my little uh, pumpkins with the KSK, which you know was my daughter who passed away her initials. So that's how come we call it King Eight Special Creations. It's just a little special tribute to her to keep her memory alive and keep it going every day that we do one of these um, lives, YouTube videos, the Dollar Tree Hall, all of it is centered around the love that she had for helping me to purchase the crafting things, become crafty. It was just a wonderful thing to come out of a horrible event that happened to her. Um, I would rather have her back 
But in lieu of that, I'll have her memory alive every day for me. So there is the green ones. And then at that same store, he found the brown ones. And he said, I can't really decide which ones I want. I said, well, I said, you'll make a good choice. So he did. He brought them both home. So now they are on my tier share, my five shelves that you see behind me. This is the extension of my tier shelves that I do, or tier trays. Don't get me wrong. I still have my tier trays. I've got one here, there in the bedroom. There's one in each bathroom. I intend to put one in the uh, little bedroom. So, yeah. One day I'll take you on a tour of nothing but my tear trays. At that same uh, Dollar Tree store, we had been looking for these little cosmetic sponges. They're just little triangle sponges that people put makeup on or take it off with. But I want them to use to put my Mod Podge on. Because you can ruin paint brushes, even those sponge brushes, real easy with Mod Podge. If you do not get it all out when you're washing them, it will make those brushes not usable anymore. And these are also good if you're going to do stencils. Now they're very hard to find. In the store he was at, he found one package. So he got that for me. He also got this wooden truck that I'm going to paint. It has little pumpkins in the top of it. So I'm going to paint it up and make me a, a fall truck. Or I might take the pumpkins off and make me another truck. A different one. And then he found these two little Christmas trucks. He went into the Christmas thing. So I'm thinking that I'm going to take off all the stuff off of one of them and put it behind and make me a full truck out of it with the little Christmas trees in it. See if I can get that done. I've seen people do it on TV and they make it look easy, but I found out making stuff look easy on TV is not easy in person. But we'll give it a try. And then he found the gingerbread houses. With the little cutouts for the doors and stuff. So, we'll, we'll work on those. We'll make us a, maybe a, a double-sided gingerbread house. That would be cute. And then, one of my people on Instagram was looking, asking about a wreath. Well... I don't know. Well, you might be able to paint this up real pretty and put it inside of a wreath with some stuff on it. I'm, my brain is thinking. He brought me so much stuff that my brain's just thinking. So, we're going to put you on pause for just a minute. I'll be right back. I had to pause for just a minute because I had to go help my husband. He's cutting down some boards to make standards for our trailer. Okay, and the last place he went, I think, was a place called Louisa. This stuff over here. Louisa, Virginia. He went to the Dollar, Tours, Dollar Tree store there on the way home. Uh, he surprised me by coming in early getting ready for our uh, live and stuff. So what he found was... He found me some wood stickers with uh, little skeletons and boo on it. I hadn't even seen these, even anybody do anything with these or anything on TV. So I didn't even know they were out there. They got little uh, stickers on the back of them so you could put them on just about anything. So that will become part of my Halloween de decor. So, um, he found these. You know, if you've watched me at all, you know that I love bang for my buck. And this is three different things that I can use. I can paint them up, put them in my little shelf setters on my tear trays. I could put them together and make a little candle holder. There is a lot of things you could do. This is just two skeletons with a pumpkin, with a Halloween pumpkin face. That's the cutest little Halloween pumpkin face. I don't know if you can see that. Let me put it against my shirt. There you go. Isn't that cute? I've been talking a lot, guys. Let me get a drink of water. So I don't start coughing. And then he found this one, which is two pumpkins. I don't know, is that the same pumpkin face? It is. 
two more of those pumpkin faces and one rest in peace. What did I do with that one? But I'm sure I'll find something to do with it. Something cute. And uh, he found these have little clothespins on the back of them. They're just called Harvest DIY pins. But these are little pumpkins. These are the more of the little trucks with pumpkins in the back of them. So, you could make a garland out of those. Put them across the mantle. I could put them across this bar. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And then these are apple bites. So when I do my finish up my apple for my little coffee tray thing, I can put these over there with these little apple pies. So those are cute. And he found some more wedges. Look, now I've got two. Now I'm excited. That is going to go, do me good. I really appreciate that. He found these little skull bows, but somewhere between him buying them and getting them home, one of the little bows are missing. But they're still, they're still cute. I can still, I can put something else different in that little middle one. It wouldn't have to be a skull. I could put one of these little little pumpkin or little apple pies in it or something. You never know. Hard to tell what live will come up with. And the last thing that he bought <coughs> on his way home is some more paint brushes. You know me. If you watch any of my videos, you know my paint brushes are in pretty sad shape. Now you could buy the most expensive ones or the more expensive ones. Walmart, Michaels, Joann's, but that means that you have to put more time and energy and thinking in to make sure that they are a lot cleaner than when I get them. So, if you're not, um, you know, an artist, like uh, you draw pictures and, and you need certain paint brushes to do certain techniques, which I have not learned, and maybe in the future, because I am a big thing of the right tool for the right job. When I get better, I will buy the more expensive brushes. I'm not against them. But until I get better, I'm just going to use these little ones like this. But these. And then he got me some little ones for the kids to play with. Because, you know, these these really don't do a whole lot of good for anything. But the kids love the, who love to paint, these brushes are perfect for them. So... As it stands right now, guys, that's all of the Virginia Dollar Tree haul that my husband picked up for me. And I appreciate you staying and watching to the end. And look forward to another one because we're getting ready to do a road trip. And pick up some Dollar Tree source. You know, I love that. So Dollar Tree, watch out. Here I come. Thanks for watching, guys.